So believe it or not, there was actually a time where rap music was deeply tied in with the gangster lifestyle. So if you weren't who you were portraying yourself to be, there was a good chance people weren't rocking with you. This resulted in a bunch of rappers faking their entire persona and acting like they were somebody they're not. Because when they were popping, if people found out, their career would be done. Of course, there's always exceptions, like look at Drake. But we can't talk about exceptions and specifics when we're looking at generalities. And what I'm talking about today is about the direction I see rap music heading in. Because are you guys aware that we are entering a new age where whether the artist is cap rap or not, it has no significance to the listener. In this new age, these rappers that start popping, they don't even have to fake it. Of course, some doing are still gonna try to act hard, but the more and more rap is evolving, the more and more cap rap is becoming fully accepted. There's no more Slim Jesuses because we'd respect him nowadays. We got all these cap rappers going crazy and I know some of them are talented, but in general, do y'all realize how crazy this is that the average new gen listener doesn't care if the artist is playing a character or not. They don't care if they're really who they say they are in their music. And there's a few valid reasons for this, but the first one being the obvious, these youngins are conditioned to hear sliding on ops. We gonna blick you down. They think that's just music. It don't matter who's saying it. They don't even understand the meaning behind these words. They think, well, that's what people rap about. Their brain don't even render half the street terminology and things being said. I realized that when white girls with hydro flasks were bumping murder on my mind. Rap music has gone so global. All these kids around the world fell in love with rap music and the substance material that these other previous rappers who really lived that life or at least pretended to gave us, but they love it for a completely different reason and are not looking at it like previous generations. As in, they care much more about other factors in the music rather than the artist's background. And not only did that affect the listener's perception, but it also affected the artist's perception. That's why we got all these suburban steppers who are getting all this love because they got talent and people aren't looking at them like, yo, they gotta be who they say they are. Although there's actually a very logical reason for that, as well as why this change has been so prevalent recently. And aside from the fact that rap music has evolved so much that these youngins don't even think twice about the rap material they hear, it also is because music nowadays is so much more about the flow and production. We witnessed this shift start in like 2014-15 and looking 10 years later, the lyrics hold way less weight than they used to when it comes to the value of a song. And that's why these suburban steppers can say some outrageous ass cat bar and nobody's gonna question it because they know, you know, he's just trying to sound smooth while flowing. He's trying to fit in that pocket. And in general, it ain't that deep. Of course, pushing destruction is that deep, but they're not thinking about it like that. Now, with everything I just said, what I want to ask y'all is, do you think this is better or worse for rap music? Really think, cause hey, at least we'll have a little bit less rappers getting murdered cause they're not really like that. But then again, you're basically opening yourself up to people who are like that cause they're still pushing destruction. They're still talking about violence. Ain't sh changed. Now it's just back to the old days when it was actors trying to play the part. But like I said, they're not hiding it. But in 2013 to like 2017 is when we saw a wave of real street artists. We saw Chief Keef, Lil Durk, Young Thug, Future, 21 Savage, Young Boy, Kodak, Lil Baby, all these street rappers who went global. And they weren't putting on an act. This was really them. And I think because this, so many people from that generation who grew up on those artists, they still want artists to be authentic. They want artists to be raw. But at the end of the day, talent is talent. How do y'all view it? Because it is cool these artists can be themselves and not fake it just to get exposed later on. But if this is truly where the direction of rap is heading in, then this is a brand new game mode and we're about to see a rise of suburban steppers. And while that could be good, doesn't that just take away everything rap music is really about? Man, I don't know. Y'all gotta comment what you think. Is this better or worse for rap music? But of course, it's been your boy Ten Toes. Now, if y'all mess with the content, go check out my second channel. We only talk about life. We don't talk about celebrities on that one. As well as I was live on Kit, go follow that so I could talk to y'all in person, answer your questions live. These are all linked in the description. Now y'all be cool, y'all be smooth, and most importantly, man, be patient. I'ma catch y'all.